Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys are enjoying the last few days of 2022, you guys. Hope you guys are, you know, keeping warm. Um, those of you that are in the colder um, <laughs> parts of the country, and I hope everybody is, you know, having a safe, happy, healthy um, time. Those of you who might be off of work or taking some time away um, during this holiday season, you guys. So let's get into it. So um, as my title says, is the circle targeting black people, you guys? So those of you who are not familiar, uh, The Circle is a reality show that is on Netflix. Basically, it's a social experiment, puts a group of um, people from all over the world. They are basically locked into this apartment for three weeks, and everything they have to do is basically via social media, right? Uh, they create a profile, and the goal is to be popular. The goal is to, you know, be influencers and things of that nature to survive in the game. And then if you get to the very end, um, you have a one in five shot at 150K. This is filmed, I believe, in London um, because it's like the same apartment. We're in season five. Uh, there's been, uh, I think, two black winners, one Dominican winner and um, one white winner of the show you boys and so and then they had their first um black lgbtqia winner um last season i believe so with that being said we are in season five but the issue that i have is you know I'll, and i'll just kind of do a run through of the players right raven love raven um she is deaf and she has an interpreter paris with her and i think they are both fantastic i think she's playing a great game uh sam she is from brooklyn she is latina she is incredible i love her energy i love what she is giving also chaz um he is black he is gay and he is incredible um very nuanced in the game very intelligent as far as like reading the players and who they're about um bruno is being played by a girl and it's kind of an obvious catfish because they're really not opening up at all also, another catfish is Brittany, uh, who is being played by her father, um, essentially, and he is he is he is fumbling hard, you guys. He is fumbling hard. I'll get to spoilers in a little bit. Um, Brett also is on. He is from Big Brother, and he's boring, you guys. He's boring. He's giving nothing. Um, Xanthia, she also um, is part of the original eight, and you know was kind of so-so but then she started to show her true color so i'm no longer a fan um and then finally tom is also the most recent player um who has entered the chat he is from london and he is also um a comedian and everything else so let's just kind of get into a little bit of everything right so basically my issue is this what happens on the show is like i said the point of it is to be popular the point of it is to build relationship with with different people and everything else otherwise you risk going home right and so the issue that i've had the past few seasons and i started to notice this a little bit not so much season two but more so season three and season four is what will happen is if in what it happens is called your block is how you get eliminated so if a black or brown person is blocked, they're pretty much done from the game. There's no chance of them ever, you know, having an opportunity to return to play the game. However, recent seasons, they do this twist where you can come back as a different person. You can come back as a catfish. However, that opportunity is never offered to the black contestants, you guys. Never offered to the black and brown contestants. And the issue that I have is that the people that get blocked, that get this opportunity, they're always the people who are boring. They're always the people who are boring, who did not give anything. Um, one twist that I enjoyed this season is you got to publicly say who you wanted to block if you were one of the two influencers. And I thought that was a way to keep the game fresh, to keep the show fresh, um, because it was a nice little twist and it puts everybody on front street. So you can't hide. You can't hide behind, you know, your alliances and everything else. You're telling the whole crew who you think is a threat or who you don't rock with or who you would get rid of if you had that power. So ultimately what happened after the first episode was Brett and um, Xanthi got, Xanthi or Xanthia, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but they got blocked because, and it wasn't for personal reasons. They simply were just giving nothing, right? They were giving nothing. They didn't have that many relationships. So therefore, and that's the purpose of the show is to have relationships. 
that's what's going to get you further in the game. And so Brett took it personally for whatever reason and gave this savage goodbye message, basically calling people losers who voted him out and who wanted to block him and all this nonsense. And so basically they bring him and Xanthi back to play together as a catfish. And, and I'm just over it. Their true colors are being completely exposed. They have this hard on for Chaz and Raven who've done nothing to them but basically play a strategic game. It was no personal reason as far as to why they blocked them, but they want to take them down a peg. They want them to get blocked. They don't like the fact that they're popular and everything else. And they have just been mean in some of these games and some of these opportunities to throw shots. And it is just absolutely lame and i'm just over it you guys i am just absolutely over it um so i hope they get eliminated soon within these next set of episodes because they're getting on my nerves you guys they're getting on my nerves and shame on production you guys because this keeps happening every season right where the black people keep getting targeted you know and being picked off and everything else and it's just lame just play the game play a strategic game build relationships why are you so obsessed with raven and chaz like get it together um so there's that oh also marvin <laughs> i forgot about him marvin also is in the cast you guys um he was originally supposed to be on this past season of big brother however it came out that basically he was on multiple reality shows he was on america's got talent he was on um he had already filmed the circle but basically as you guys know when you do these reality shows there's a certain period of time that's a non-compete with different networks so basically he could not compete on big brother and maybe it's for the best you guys that he was not on big brother um but for the people who are coming for marvin um that are big brother fans you guys knew what we were going to get right you knew the type of black men that we were going to get um when it came to marvin and so people are upset because basically he rated you know the white people high he you know was all about brett and xanthi until brett got black and basically xanthi said that she would block him basically she would get rid of him and so then after that that's when um there was this melanin an alliance that formed with him raven and chaz and you know people felt as though he wouldn't have done that you know had the you know had brett stayed in the game or had xanthi still been in the game and he didn't know that she wanted to block him and and that may very well be true but with that being said he also said from the start that he also found raven attractive and was into her right so so there is that so we'll see how he moves um it looks like he's about to move shady um in the preview for the next set of episodes where he is flirting going wrong with somebody else um so i feel like that's going to come back to bite him in the behind and he might be you know at risk for going home more to come on that we'll have to see if that ultimately happens but um you know i just love the energy of you know having raven she is um you know such a ball of energy such a light and um and it was cool that you know she's trying to teach through basically texting on how to teach people different um types of sign language and things of that nature i thought that was really cool i need jennifer gone who's being played by xanthi and um brett as the new catfishes they're giving nothing i need bruno gone they're not giving nothing at all um they're starting to give a little bit but they're not playing the game right I feel like the people who are truly playing the game is really Chaz, um, Raven, and Sam. And if they could figure it out and become like a trifecta, I feel that they could really dominate the game. And it looks like um, Shubash, I think his name is? I, I forgot his name already. Um, but he was on season one of The Circle, and um, everybody loved him. Everybody thought he was adorable. Um, so he is back as well. Um, so, I have a, I, so I have a thing about this. Um, with as many seasons as the circle has i don't understand why not like the uk version that they don't do a celebrity season right because they i'm sure they have the budget for it and they need to do a second chances season you guys i don't like this mixing of people coming in that were on previous seasons right or if it was your spouse that was on a previous season or if it was your sibling that was on a previous season or what have you why not just do a second chance season for some of the fan faves some of the people who you know didn't have an opportunity to win the show and things of that nature and just give them a whole separate show right 
because I feel as though it kind of isn't fair to the people who are brand new players, who are brand new, you know, people on the show trying to compete to win money because you bring back people who either know people who went through the process and were successful or who went through the process and got close or what have you. So they kind of have a leg up on versus the brand new people who have no idea what to expect, uh, you know, coming into this show. And I feel like it would just be easier instead of trying to plant people um, from previous seasons and from pe previous shows, because they did that with, they had the girl um, and from Too Hot to Handle um, as well. Um, and it's just like, instead of doing all of that, why not just do another show altogether, right? And, um, and I think they thought that Brett was going to do something, and I'm wondering if it's in his contract that he has to be in for so long, but he's just not giving at all. And he wasn't giving on Big Brother either. And it's so funny to me that the Big Brother fans who said that they were not going to tune in, that they did not care about Brett, now all of a sudden want to tune in and root for him because they found out that he was blocked on the first episode. Like, make it make sense, you guys. Make it make sense. So that's kind of the gist. Uh, Brittany got eliminated as the last person to get blocked. As you guys know, they're blocked for real because it's a black man um, playing, the, uh, playing his daughter. So there was no way that he was going to return to the game and play as somebody else, of course. So, so there is that. But um, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys feel the circle is sabotaging um, these black players? It, it just feels malicious. It's one thing if you were just saying, hey, I just want to get this person back. They blocked me. I'm going to, you know, try to find a way to get them blocked or what have you. But it just seems so malicious. Like, I don't like the fact that they're liked. I don't like it. It just seems like it is coming from a separate place. And and I have an issue with that. I have an issue with that. And, and it's like everybody else is playing a fair game as far as listen you know basically saying hey these are the factual reasons that i want you gone you don't have a relationship with anybody you don't give enough to the group if we don't have a relationship this is big on connections how am i supposed to help you get further in the game if you don't talk to me right so so that's the thing there with that but it's just it's very malicious the anonymous dating profile game where they just completely obliterated raven and basically tried to call her all these names and you know call her a cheater and call her disloyal and say that she's insensitive and she's disingenuous and all these things like it just wasn't necessary it was over the top it was trashy and and it just reeked of jealousy you guys and and these players always get away with it they always get away with it when they are super messy against these black and brown players. And I'm just over it because they've been messy with Sam too. And it's just like, you guys, just stop it. Like, stop it and grow up. Like, if you have to resort to dirty tactics to stay further in the game and you can only do it as an anonymous person, like, stop it. Stop the shenanigans, right? So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think of the first four episodes of The Circle? And do you think that black people are being targeted unfairly on the show, right? Um, so there is that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.